Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful, sunshiny San Antonio, Texas. The second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are fired up and ready for a wonderful day today. I'd like to ask you a question as I do every day. You know, with the coaching clients that I serve daily, I remind them that I determine the quality of my questions by how long it takes you to answer them. A simple question will give you simple results. A more challenging question that really causes you to think gives you opportunity for growth. Our brains want to automatically default to the simple so that we don't truly have to concentrate and actually think. Strangely enough, thinking has truly become a lost art if you are not intentional about taking time to think. So the question I ask you today is this. Are your habits serving you? Because they are serving you. Are they serving you life or are they serving you death? You might wonder, well, Steve, that sounds a little intense. What do you mean by that? Are, are your habits serving you life or serving you death? That sounds a little intense. What do you mean by that? Well, I'll be completely clear with you right now. And it's simply this, that most of us, even at maximum capacity, in all sincerity, most of us at maximum efficiency and capacity are probably really only operating at around 40% of our potential because our brain and our conditioning and our programming has set us up to be a person who blends in with the crowd, somebody who doesn't really stand out too much, someone who's not really willing to put themselves out there, someone who's not really ready to push the status quo and it starts from the time that you're a child if you take for instance an extremely exceptional intelligent child in school they learned very quickly that when the teacher asks who knows the answer to this question raise your hand if that child raises their hand more than a couple of times they're immediately labeled nerd know it all teacher's pet there's a negative connotation attached to superior achievement or intellect or activity or action or result and so from a very early age high performance is not necessarily celebrated so this programming carries on with us into adulthood and most people tend to operate far below their capacity or far below their means I could just see good morning good morning my brother Mark and so when you're operating far below your means, what's happening is you are living a life below what is available to you to live. Unless you are absolutely fulfilled in all areas of your life, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, as a parent, as a husband or wife, in your finances, your physical well-being, if, if you're not like, man, I am rocking it, then you, my friend, are not operating capacity and your habits are serving you today, death. The habits are serving you, death. What does that mean? Hey, if you are eating poorly, if you are not resting, if you are not taking care of yourself, if you're not learning new tools and ways to communicate with others in a stressful world, if you're not learning to manage yourself and your emotions, habitually responding the same way over and over again, then you are serving death on a plate to you. You are going to end up leaving this earth sooner than you need to in most cases because those types of actions and activities and thoughts create a very toxic environment in the body and in the mind. It produces literally a negative energy that can be felt by other people. Let me just give you an example. Has somebody ever walked into your office and had to announce Good morning, guys. How everybody doing? I'm depressed today. Good to see ya. How you doing? I'm depressed. A depressed person does not need to announce their depression. A downtrodden person does not need to announce their downtrodden. Their body responds to their thoughts and it creates a state that is visible. Also, you don't have to ask who's happy in the room, who's fulfilled in the room, who's joyful in the room. Who's confident in a room? These thoughts create an energy that manifests in the body. And so, are your habits serving you life today? 
or are they serving you death? Because they're serving one of the two. If you're not intentionally taking your thoughts captive and focusing on the positive, the powerful, the good, whatever is noble, beautiful, pure, of good report, praiseworthy, think on these things. These are choices you have to place data in the brain that God gave you on your own. Do you know businesses are spending billions and billions of dollars a year to gain access to what you have access to 24 seven for free. You, my friend, have the opportunity to choose which habits you are going to create in order to have habits that serve life to you. And here's the hint that I'm gonna leave you with. Whatever area of your life you complain about the most, that's the area that needs the most attention. And that's the area that needs the most work. Creating a habit is not easy. It's hard until it gets easy. Is the result of the habit going to serve you life? Then I'm gonna suggest, my friend, it's worth it to break through the barrier and create habits that will serve you life. Have a great day, guys.